Okay, it's 9 p.m. I was very busy today. We lost a little bit of money today, but that's okay. Blackberry, Chipotle, GameStop, and Chewy all went down. Yeah, I literally knew Chewy was going to go down too. I should have just waited till the end of the day to buy it. NVIDIA went up, but back down. Like, NVIDIA is still trading sideways. Eh, Pro Media trading sideways. It went up a bit, but that's it. Um, Palantir went up a lot, which is good. Which is good. We might get to twenty six and twenty seven dollars soon. And Tesla went up a lot, which was very good for me. We'll see if it goes up again tomorrow. So far, my plan is just to keep the calls. So then, maybe Wednesday or Thursday. See what happens with Tesla when they release their deliverables, either tomorrow or the next day. Hopefully GameStop goes up, but doesn't look like it is. Doesn't look like it is. Roaring Kitty now has 9 million shares of Chewy, and he got slapped with a lawsuit from the SEC. <laughs> Or what's known as a pump and dump scheme. Both of them got sued. And both GameStop and Chewy went down today because Roy and Katie got this. Whole bunch of accusations. Um, I don't know. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I don't really think it's a pump and dump. Because A, he's just sharing his positions of what he has, which is perfectly legal to show what position you have. And Netflix did a documentary about him. Like, he made the stock go up a lot in 2021. You can't blame the man for being an influencer. Like, that's not a thing. People would get in trouble every day. I'm so confused how this is even a lawsuit. Um, We'll see what happens with GameStop and Chewy this week. We'll see if anything comes of this lawsuit. I don't think that it will. I don't I don't think anything will happen with this lawsuit lawsuit at all. At all. <clears throat> mm. You see by Radif, a GameStop investor. <laughs> Etrade was considering banning Gil for stock manipulation because he streams to 500,000 people. So what he does, people jump on the bandwagon for. But literally going to ban someone because they're an influencer? That's just kind of fucked up. But like, that's how it always works. We don't know that anyone bought anything until after they bought it. Like, I don't get why this is becoming a thing. I don't. Gil wielded his ex account as an artifice to deceive and trick investors. Bruh, all he does is post memes. What? What? Ridiculous. Y'all let me know what you think about this lawsuit and what y'all think the stocks are doing this week. I do think that GameStop and Chewy will go up. I just think it's going to take a while. Like, see, Chewy went up when people saw that he bought the shares. That's probably him filing. And then it went down at, for a correction. We'll see if Chewy jumps up a day. It'd be nice. Um, 
Chipotle I would like to go up. But I know after the split, it does make it harder. I don't know. I bought more buys because they were cheap. So we'll see. You know, like the $66 call is only a dollar. It's okay. It's okay. Don't buy more. Don't buy more. Talking to myself. Don't buy more. We got other calls. Bought more calls because they were cheap too. We only have two calls for DJT. We got six for Palantir. And we got two for Tesla. If Tesla goes up another like 3%, 4% tomorrow, that's when I'll probably sell these and lock in those profits. And then probably buy a put option. Because I don't think Tesla is going to go back up to 300. I just don't. I think Tesla is going to stop around 220, 230. That's my prediction. What do you all think for these stocks? We got Blackberry, Chipotle, GameStop. Chewy, NVIDIA, Trump Media, Palantir, and Tesla. Those are my bets for this week. What do y'all got going on?